Hey, thanks for tuning in to Seven Circles. My name is Jonathan. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you. We have now hit 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm really, really excited about that. I didn't think it was going to happen this fast, but it did. And I just want to say thank you. Um, if you haven't done so already, please like and please subscribe. Once again, this channel is created to inspire, uplift, and help people to accomplish um, their dreams, aspirations, and goals. So with that being said, uh, we're going to get into today's topic. For today's topic, we're going to be talking about faith. F-A-I-T-H. So to me, faith actually stands for fully anticipating it to happen. Fully anticipating it to happen. It's a pretty good acronym, I think. I think that pretty much sums up the definition of it. So with that being said, I want to say thank you for tuning in. And until next time, take care. <laughs> now I'm just playing. You see, the thing about faith is that a lot of people are actually using it, but they don't know that they're using it. So this video is actually designed to give you some more clarity about faith so that you can use it in a more purposeful and meaningful way so that you can achieve and succeed in the endeavor of your choice. So let's actually look at the Webster's definition of faith. By definition, the definition of faith is to have complete confidence or trust in someone or something. Let me say that again. To have complete confidence or trust in someone or something. So where does faith come from? Faith comes from seeing, hearing, or feeling. So in other words, faith comes from our senses. Now, let's do an example. Uh, let's say that this young little girl is actually uh, wanting to learn how to ride a bike. So she sees other children who are um, riding bikes. So then that gives her enough faith, enough confidence that she too can learn how to ride a bike. Well, that's one example of faith coming from seeing. All right, so another example is millions of people have faith in the lottery system because they heard of someone who won millions of dollars in the past. So that is an example of faith coming from hearing, right? Now, what about feeling? I have faith that I can become a successful entrepreneur because I have this insatiable desire, this insatiable feeling to succeed. Well, that's one example of having faith by the feeling. So we got seeing, we got hearing, we got feeling. Faith can come by um, your senses. It definitely can. But there's other ways that faith can come as well. Faith can come by laws or universal laws. Now, there's seven laws that I'm going to name right now, but there are many, many more, many more laws out there, and some of them aren't even discovered by mankind, and some of the ones that are discovered aren't even understood fully. So the seven laws are the law of magnetism, the law of mathematics, the law of vibration, the law of love, the law of gravity, the law of abundance, and the law of attraction. Think about that. The law of attraction, that one wasn't actually made popular until recent. But the law always existed, but, you know, it wasn't uh, in the consciousness of humans because uh, we didn't know about it. And there are many, many laws like that. So let me actually give you an example of how you can actually develop faith through a law. OK, so as our knowledge increases, our confidence increases and faith develops naturally. All right, so in September 1962, JFK said we will go to the moon in 10 years. And he was confident and um, he had faith. Uh, why? Because we understood the law of mathematics and because we understood the law of gravity. We understood it enough, at least so that we can get to our destination. And we actually did it less than 10 years. We got there in 1969. So... Um, that's one example of a, of a, a universal law, um, having faith in a universal law. Uh, if you think about yoga, the definition of yoga, it means to, to yoke with the divine or to uh, align with the great law. Um, yoga is practiced by uh, faith. Yoga is practiced by faith. I was, I was once told um, that faith comes from uh, repetition. From doing something over and over and over again. So that's that's one way uh, to develop faith. Maybe when you're younger, you don't really know the uh, law of mathematics, right? You don't. I mean, some people come out as a prodigy and, and they're you know they know all this type of stuff, but um, 
Most people don't understand the law of mathematics to the degree that they understand it right now. And that had to come from faith, from adding one plus one and two plus two and, and three plus three. It had to come from repetition. The faith came from uh, repetition. It came from doing it over and over and over again. So faith comes from uh, repeated action. All right, so all of the great souls that shaped our society, that shaped our world, in some in some way or another, actually had faith and used uh, faith. I don't care if you were Gandhi or if you were um, MLK or JFK or if you were Carl Benz or if you were Henry Ford or if you were um, Tesla or Edison or um, Luther Burbanks or Elon Musk or who else do we got? Steve Jobs, uh, Bill Gates. Um, all these people used the uh, law of faith. They they used faith, right? They fully anticipated it to happen. They knew that their actions would not come back void, that they were expecting uh, results to happen. They were expecting uh, their um, dreams to manifest. Faith, fully anticipating it to happen. All right, so think about this. Like... How do you feel right now? Do you have some type of goal? Do you have some type of dream that you're, you you want, that you want to achieve? I think everybody has something they want to do. Um, if it's small or if it's big or if it's, you know, not important to the next person, but it might be important to you. I think that everybody has desires, dreams, goals, aspirations. Um, I think that most people really, really want to, um, you know, um, make those things come true. And I think that sometimes we just need a little push, a little encouragement, a little inspiration, um, a little inspiring, um, something that can help you to spring into action. Uh, look at, look at faith. Look at it. Um, is faith something that you're, you're, you're lacking? Um, do you not understand faith completely? Uh, hopefully this video can help you to actually um, give you a better understanding of it so that you can use it and that you can actually really, really make a big difference in your life and in the lives of others. So let's actually talk about things that can weaken your faith. I got five things, okay? So number one is fear. Fear is a big one, a big one, a big one. And you can actually use fear in a good way, but most people use fear in the wrong type of way. And if you're really unsure about fear, you don't have a good um, uh, definition or just a good comprehension of what fear is, uh, take a look at one of my other videos and I'm actually talking about fear. All right, so the second one is hanging around negative people, people who do not share your, um, your goals or your morals or your values. Very, very important. Um, if I'm, let's say, a vegan, I'm not going to hang around somebody who works in the slaughterhouse. Kind of just doesn't go like that, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, so number three is not following me through on your road, not honoring your contract. So think about it. Let's say if um, I'm a business owner and all of a sudden I tell somebody that I'm going to be at their place to service them and we make a contract and then all of a sudden I don't show up. Uh, if I do that, that's actually going to make the client really, really mad, of course. But also what it's going to do is it's actually going to make me lose confidence in myself, which is actually going to weaken my faith and uh, my faith for me to uh, perform um, the way that I need to perform with my, my uh, business. And then I'm going to start to lose clients and my faith is even going to decrease um, a lot more after that. So you want to make sure that you follow through on what you say you're going to do. All right, number four is using drugs or consuming alcohol in large amounts. Um, yeah, I've just seen too many things uh, uh, or too many people um, who actually consume alcohol and in large amounts or just do drugs and watch their lives, you know, kind of go on a downward spiral. Um, it's very unfortunate, um, but I don't think that they have anything really good to offer. Maybe a temporary escape, um, but that's what it is, just an escape. Uh, so I think that that will definitely weaken your faith. After a while, you will begin to lose confidence in yourself, confidence in life, and many people who abuse drugs to such a level, they don't even want to live life anymore. 
So stay away from drugs, stay away from consuming alcohol in large amounts, all right? And number five is watching the news, um, <laughs> reading um, the newspapers or consuming um, large amounts of negative uh, media, TV, movies, uh, music, whatever. You wanna stay away from that stuff. You really, really want to stay away from that stuff. That stuff would definitely weaken your faith. You would begin to have less faith in humanity. Um, because most of the time, you know, the news, they don't broadcast all the good stuff, all the beautiful things that are happening. They're just going to constantly put something on that is really negative, And they're going to be going to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Like 80 times a day, you know, uh, 20 days out of, out of the month. It's crazy. So stay away from that stuff. All right, so five ways that you can strengthen your faith. Five ways that you can strengthen your faith. Uh, one is hanging around like-minded people. Uh, this is a motivational speaker called Les Brown. He calls it OQP, only quality people. Only hanging around quality people. People, they don't necessarily have to share the same dreams as you, but people who share the same values, the same morals, you know, the same principles, people that want to move forward in life, that want to do great things with their life. Those are the people that are good to hang around with. Those are the people that can actually strengthen your faith. Because don't forget, faith comes from seeing, faith, faith comes from hearing, and faith comes from feeling. Number two is exercise. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of exercise it is, whether if it's lifting weights, whether if it's um, running, sprinting, whether it is, uh, let's say yoga or aerobics or Pilates or, uh, whatever have you, um, exercise. Exercise, it kind of gets the carbon dioxide out of your bloodstream. It puts a lot of oxygen in your bloodstream. It gets things moving. It eliminates waste. It just makes you feel a whole lot better. So it's going to put you in a better state and that state's going to give you more confidence. And as you have more confidence, you're going to have more faith. Number three is take walks in nature. Doesn't matter what kind of nature setting it is. It could be a beach, it could be a forest, it could be the desert. Just get out there in nature. Nature really does have all of the laws. Um, we just have to look at it. And we're so far away from nature nowadays, you know, especially those of us that live in the city, that we actually forget that we are nature, that we are a part of nature. So by going back in nature, you automatically become um, acclimated. Um, and you kind of, you know, uh, kind of get back in tune of, with the rhythm of life. So by going back in nature, that again can help you to increase your uh, faith. It can help to strengthen your, your faith. Okay. All right, number four is having an attitude of gratitude, being thankful. Just by being thankful, um, you and by being thankful and by having an attitude of gratitude, gratitude, <laughs> you're actually going to um, put yourself in a state of being grateful, and therefore you can't be in the state of fear. And when you're in that state of being grateful, good things are naturally going to happen to you. And as those good things naturally happen to you, well, guess what? Your faith is going to increase. So number four is by having an attitude of gratitude. All right, and last but not least, number five. Number five is reading uplifting books, listening to uplifting music. Uh, when you are in media, uh, you know, immersing yourself in media that is positive and uplifting so that, therefore, it can um, uplift you. Because whatever you feed your mind, uh, eventually it's going to find outward expression. So you want to make sure that you are consuming something that is of vital importance and something that is positive. Um, yeah, music, 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 like. All right, so if you haven't done so, please subscribe, uh, like the channel. Don't forget the reason why Seven Circles was created. It was created to inspire, uplift, and to encourage people to strive for their dreams, goals, aspirations, so that they can make a change on this planet for the better for themselves, their family, and all of humankind, mankind womankind, all kinds. Um, so if you are down with that and you subscribe to that, hit the subscribe button. Um, what else do I got to say? I got to say live long and prosper and peace. Till next time.